Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Looking to install Lycoris in Stable Diffusion? This guide will help you download, configure and integrate Lycoris into your Stable Diffusion setup. Follow these steps to enhance your model with Lycoris. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. For this video guys, we will be guided by few articles to get an explanation about Lycoris, how does it work and how can we connect it with Stable Diffusion and some community opinions about it. And of course, we will give that these informations with a couple of images that explains how does that affects your results. So, what is Lycoris and how to use them in Stable Diffusion? First, you have probably used LoRa models. How about Lycoris models? They are a great alternative to LoRa's. In this guide, you will learn what they are, where to download them, and how to use them. So, if here I'm going to click on what is Lycoris model. So, Lycoris stands for LoRa Beyond Conventional Methods. Other rank adaptation implementations for stable diffusion. Yes, it is totally made up. Similar to LoRa, it is a collection of methods for making small changes to a stable diffusion checkpoint model. What can you do with Lycoris? Well, they are used to modify a checkpoint model, injecting a character, celebrity, fictional character, etc., modifying the style, modifying the clothing, modifying the background, adding an object like cars, buildings, and adding an animal. Here's an example of uh, like the result so this is the original image and after that you can see that they they change the background they change the clothes uh, they kept the basically like somehow the face but still we try to change the whole image itself so we change the very vibe of the image itself by keeping this, uh, the, the face and the identity of the character so this is the goal of like hers of course it is not perfect at the moment it's still in progress and in development that is why you might find some kind of difference in terms of face but yeah now what's the difference between Lycoris and LoRa. Lycoris and LoRa models aim to make minor adjustments to a stable diffusion model using a small file. Both modify the unit throughout matrix, matrix decomposition, but their approaches differ. LoRa is the original method, Lycoris is a collection of LoRa like methods. They are LoCon, LoRa, LoKR, and DiLoRa. So as you can see here, uh, there is a lot of explanation if you want to go really, really in depth and to understand it really, really cool. Now, this is like a picture that's basically giving us the difference between LoRa and Lycoris as pictures. So this is LoRa picture or LoRa image. And this is Lycoris image. As you can see, there is so much difference when it comes to actually details hair for example this hair looks so much better than this one the light in here looks so much better um, we have like basically everything this character is so so much better than the other one so like Chorus is pretty like developed one and in case you would like to find like Chorus models you have to go to this website and as you can see you might find you simply by searching by like chorus. Um, you can find here like details about it, and basically here there is a lot of images that are basically using like chorus. So this is like the website that has every single model, and this is how you can do it. Now, how can we download a like chorus model? Well, there are two ways to download a like chorus model. Directly downloading them from the Civit, Civit AI website and second using the Civit AI helper extension. First of all, by the option 1, direct download. Go to the Alagoras model page on uh, Civit, uh, Civit AI, confirm that the model type is Lycoris in the details section, then download the Lycoris model by clicking the download button. Put the Lycoris file in the folder, which is this one, Stable Diffusion. Web UI models LoRa, and this is gonna be it. Now, for the second option, use the Civit AI 
helper which alternatively use the Civitai helper extension to download Likers model you will also get the cover image as a bonus and this is basically how the extension work so you just have to simply click and put here the URL get info by Civitai URL and here you simply gonna click on download model here on the civil the, like details about it so on the Civitai help Per page, now you get to the download model section. Put the URL of the model in Civitai URL and press Get Model Info by Civitai URL. Make a se selection from these drop down menus, sub down folder, and model version, select a variant you want, then press Download Model. Here you can find all the models. So, using the Lycoris model, a Lycoris model needs to be used with Stable Diffusion Checkpoint model. Each Lycoris can only work with a specific type of Stable Diffusion model. We have version 1.5, version 2, and STXL. Here, like, there is other information about it, but you don't really need to know about them. We got the main idea, we got how to download it, and how we can use it. Now, there is some kind of other uh, opinions about Lycoris and how you can use it for the first time, and here we found like a Reddit article about it. So, how do I use Lycoris first timer? Here, my first timer is Stable Diffusion. I want to be able to use this model, and it says that I need to download Lycoris to use the model. So far, I have installed Lycoris into Stable Diffusion throughout extensions, downloaded the model safe, safe chain source, and inputs it into the LoRa folder. From here, I don't know much about how to specifically use Lycoris or change Stable Diffusion's checkpoint safe sensors or uh, to the new model. Do I just training the, just training the AI or is this something that I'm missing? So here we have an answer which is very very in depth. Once you have dropped your model into the fo LoRa folder, just run the web UI and simply click the red card below the generate button on the text image tab. A new section should open with tabs for every model folder where you will find your model card. If you can find the red card button, make sure your local repo is updated. To apply the LoRa, just click the model card. A new tag will be added to your prompts with the name and strength of LoRa. So now, all you have to do is to use correct tag words provided by developer of model alongside the model tag, but, uh, tag for best results. If you downloaded your lot of model from Civit AI, you can also make sure you make use of the Civit AI helper extension. You can use it uh, to fetch the info for your lot of cards, including images to help distinguish your cards and add buttons so you can uh, so you can add tag words with one click. And you can also use this extension to straight up just download the models from Civit AI URL with all the info already included. The Civit AI team is currently working on their own extension, which will allow you to add models from their website to your running automatic 1111 web UI instance in one click. But last I checked, it's still only available for testers. And yeah, guys, this is basically it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorial.